I'm new tonight at 10, answering questions a lot of you have been asking why I was away from the anchor desk for the last month or so. Well, for the last several weeks, I've been fighting my own battle with COVID-19. So tonight I talked with NBC 15's Laura Barczewski about it. We talked about my experience being diagnosed, then like a lot of you, recovering from the virus. Laura, of course, as a journalist, I don't like to be the story, but I thought it might shed some light on what a lot of folks have been going through. Greg, we're happy you're back, and thank you for not only sharing with me, but with our community what this illness is like, so that maybe we can get a little more insight on just how awful coronavirus really is. A friend called on a Monday morning and said, guys, I got some bad news. Um, I have tested positive. NBC 15 News anchor Greg Peterson says his friend was unknowingly exposed at work and he spent time with him briefly in a social setting. In a matter of days, another person who was around them tested positive for COVID-19 and then Greg himself started having symptoms. So I was quarantined. Um, uh, two days later, after suffering some pretty severe symptoms, you know, you hear about the fever and the chills and really the dry cough and, and muscle fatigue and all those things. The only symptom that I didn't wind up having was a shortness of breath, which is the real bad one. So I'm certainly thankful for that. Greg says he ended up staying home with his family for almost a month fighting this virus. For probably three or four days, I didn't do anything but lay on the couch. Uh, and that's all I could do. Um, and uh, a couple of other people in my house were also sick. So we all just kind of commiserated together. Were you worried about your family too as they were going through this with you? Absolutely every day. Hey, how's your breathing? You, do you feel like you need to go see a doctor? And uh, luckily nobody got to that point. We were very, very lucky. What was it like talking about this and reporting on it day after day and then getting it yourself? I was very aware of, uh, of what was happening, obviously, because for the last four or five months, that's primarily what we've been reporting on right here is, is COVID-19 and the effects and, and all the people uh, and the numbers that have continually you know, risen uh, and unfortunately all the fatalities uh, from this. Uh, there's no doubt about it, it's serious, uh, there's no doubt. Greg says as a journalist who is focused on reporting facts, he's seen how mask wearing and social distancing makes a difference. Uh, who knows what's gonna happen in the future, but um, you know, do the best you can. And it's, it's tough because to, to, to everyone just wants to live their life, wants to get back to normal. And I understand people wanting to jump the gun a little bit. And perhaps that's what we did. Greg, we're so happy you're feeling yeah. better. You know, what was it like? How long did it take for you to get to feeling your best? I started getting symptoms, Laura, uh, a couple of days, and I, I just want to thank uh, this company and this television station. They did the right thing, and they've done the right thing since the beginning. Quarantine, the minute I said that I had been exposed, they quarantined me, and then when I eventually tested positive, we did the right quarantine as well, uh, longer than the CDC recommendations. So I just want to say thanks to uh, NBC15 because it's a tough situation. It really is, and there are a lot of employers out there who are going through the same thing. It's a tough decision to make, and I just want to say thanks to this company and all the co-workers as well. Greg, you, you're back, you're here, <laughs> happy to be back. Yeah, very happy to be back. I was going a little stir crazy. Laura, I appreciate it. And I do want to take a moment and thank all you wonderful folks who did reach out with emails and texts on Facebook to send their prayers and share their concern. I read every one of them and they certainly helped make this old reporter feel pretty darn good during my recovery. So thank you for that.